Not a day has gone past when I haven't regretted not doing more back when he... I should have taken him down all those years ago. But I did nothing. I was useless. And then he came back. And I heard... I heard he was hurting you girls. And, and I couldn't let him destroy your lives. I couldn't just stand back and let him hurt you all over again. And the thought of that evil infecting Ruby. So you called him up, asked him to meet you at the fish markets, you had a knife? In my head, I was only planning to threaten him, force him to leave town and never contact the girls again. But he wouldn't be intimidated. He laughed at my threats. He told me he'd never let my daughter out of his sight. Charlie would have to get used to having him around for a long time. The next thing I remember, I was standing back as he fell to the ground. And his chest was bloody and so was the knife in my hand. And you dragged his body to the beach all by yourself? In my head, amazing how much adrenaline's in your body after you killed a man. Threaten him. Force him to leave town. An hour. Next thing I remember. But eventually I dumped him by the wall. Standing back as he fell to the ground. Anything else to add? Bloody. And you dragged the body to the beach all by yourself. Charlie and Ruby. I have put you through so much. It's okay. I am so sorry. Ross Buckton, you are under arrest for the murder of Grant Pletko. Would you like me to read you your rights? I think I can remember those. Very well. You're both free to go. If you wouldn't mind processing, Mr Buckton, Charlie, you can find your badge and weapon at the counter. Oh. And yes, I'd love a coffee. Sure. Um, how's Ross this morning? He okay after last night? Well, he's made of tougher stuff than me, but I can't imagine it was a picnic. I don't expect he'll spend too much time in jail, though. No? He's afflicted with an illness. There are mitigating circumstances. He's got an excellent record as a police officer. Of course, I'm no lawyer. I can't say with certainty what will happen. Angela. Hey. I spoke to Ross. He's doing okay. So what happens from here? Robertson's taking him into the city for formal charging. How are you guys coping? Uh, we'll all cope a little better if we can see Dad. I'll arrange that, I promise. They said he slept really well. They've got staff watching around the corner. Ruby? Oh, you just dropped out there for a few seconds. Are you sure you're okay? No, not really. I didn't get much sleep last night. Well, that's understandable. This is a pretty big shock. Yeah, it is. Look, I know this can't be easy, and I know I haven't helped that. But I really wish things had turned out differently. Thank you. Uh, can I ask you something? Of course. Was I ever a real suspect in your eyes, or was Dad always on top of the list? You were in there at the start. But it didn't take long for me to suspect your father. So you arresting me and Ruby, the whole thing was about putting pressure on Dad? I thought that whoever did it in the end, it would be better if they fessed up. That way it'd look better in court, you know? Your father's a good man, Charlie. And what happened to you as a teenager and to the other women at Bletko's hands, that should never have gone unpunished. These things will be taken into account, believe me. I intend on going back to the city to interview Grant's victims again. And I think I'll get some different stories now that the rapist is no longer a threat. 
This information can be used by Battleship to help demonstrate state of mind and emotional distress. You should say your goodbyes to your father for now. I'm so sorry for what I put your girls through. It doesn't matter now. I love you both so much. Hi, Dad. Don't you mean granddad? You'll always be dad to me. You always have been. Will I see you soon? You know you will. Don't forget Gus. I could never forget him. Good luck on your investigation. I hope I haven't interfered in any way. Surprisingly, no, you haven't. Good. I also hope you get him. I really do. Get who? Now that's the question, isn't it? 